What is up guys, today we're going to do another unboxing video today. Yeah, I know this channel has a lot of unboxing, but I do like unboxing videos and they are very fun to do. So we're going to go ahead and unbox two unboxings today. We're going to do this awesome fly reel that they got. And then to accommodate the fly reel, we got some, we got our fly crate subscription. If you know what this is, it's a small company. They are awesome. They have hand tied flies, not mass produced. So. Oh, let's go with the fly first. Um, this is the bass warm water edition. I didn't get the trout one yet. Um, looks like the same flies from last time, but it's okay because these flies, you definitely need a lot more of the same flies, especially when you're fly fishing. Um, we got two dope stickers. So this is pretty cool. We'll show you those in a second. And then you get your fly guide little magazine which tells you the flies a little good reading material i keep these put them in the restroom so we'll put that off to the reading material side and then comes this little box um other than that let's get to the flies real quick oh well, actually let's get the stickers awesome like the last one had a small mouth with the hands this is probably one of my favorite stickers for sure this is actually on my ca my camera care bag this is a really dope sticker so let's focus on the sticker uh, that is so badass it's a badass sticker just can't get enough of it next we got the fly crate sticker right here with i believe this is a brown no it's a red so we got a red little trout to trout and could be a large mouth could also be a small mouth too a small mouth don't get that card they get that brownish with the stress marks move on to the flies flies i believe are the same as last time um good hand selection of flies um right here is the mr p's tiger tiger paw size six if i can get it off they do make it a little bit difficult sometimes and also gives you instructions on the back of what it is what's on phone <laughs> mr p is a pattern for a twitch drop off on a sunny bright day sinking leader is recommended so you can see very good very good very good it's a good fly right here I like that tiger pattern focus try not to take a picture my camera likes to think it's taking a picture very awesome do love this pattern nice little good fly good fly good fly next we got the popping bugger just a woolly bugger with a little popping action definitely an awesome awesome unique fly the foam head shape so good for top water bass for sure bass candy next we got the cone head bite me bugger so another wooly bugger type but uh, cone head this time so you'll be able to get some a little bit more slow sinking on there i don't know what fur they use or what type of feather but it's very nice um definitely like the bluegill flash right here this one go ahead by me black these streamers are great for getting deep and moving lots of water let these save a few seconds before stripping back experiment with each cast to feather right combo so yeah i mean i like to throw mine out then kind of burn it a little bit then let it fall because seems bass here in Texas like to bite stuff on the fall when it hits the ground. It's probably my favorite. Born George Wild Thing Copper. Born George Wild Thing is a, is a top heavy streamer for darting through depths. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, awesome design. I like to throw this actually when I'm on the river when I'm going through structure around wood and stuff. I like to dart past it. This is probably something I would use a lot more in the salt scene too um we've had a good salt pattern to get down in front of any red or speckle this would be good for the flats for sure i mean just look at that that's a 
beautiful, beautiful fly. And then my favorite, Boogeyman Black. Also one of my favorites. So this right here is probably the one of my favorite flies that I have thrown. The Boogeyman Streamer is a pattern with the trailing hook, best for skinny water, pointing to aquatic vegetation for predators to ambush from. So this right here, I love throwing in dirty ponds because of the black. And they have other colors too, but I mean, it is perfect as a good bait fish or just a fish trying to escape. Um, what's nice is since it is a streamer, it doesn't sink that much, so you'll be able to float a lot more. And it's just, oh, it's just a badass bait. I mean, got the trailer right here. It's hooked up to a bead system, from what I can see. So you might have some noise with the clanking. But other than that, that's that streamer. And then my favorite. I love throwing these hands down is these zonkers zonkers are one of my favorite catch methods but this little guy right here is the micro zonker and let me tell you this is probably one of my favorite types of fights to throw I throw zonkers a lot and the micro zonker is pretty great I mean that I have it actually tied on my 8 weight right now which is probably a little Real good use it's been getting good use here in texas haven't filmed a real good video on it yet but it was so now to the other part of this video right here we got the matt's catch eco reel i heard stuff about it um i like trying out different reels my favorite is obviously reddington but i had to get this because of trout season it comes with just a little guy in the box so. but it, this is a four three to four it's gonna go on my my four weight but this is why I love this reel it has the rainbow trout print on here and this is so gorgeous Really big in diameter, which is good. Um, does have drag, which is also really good. Um, you can switch it up on your drag. Right here on the side. Do not so heavy, so easy to pull. Or you can set it to where it's a little bit more resistance, but overall, this is one, like I said, of my favorite. Look at that paint job, that pattern. So if you want to snag one of these, I'll leave a link in this in the description below because it's just, ooh, it has that smell too when you from the gears. This is this is like I said, this is a badass reel to have. I can just I mean the pattern on it. I have floating on here. Don't know the best, the, what's it called? Draw a blank, but the details of what line and what leader is on here. But other than that, um, I can't wait to test this out. I can't wait to do a video on this, especially when we go in the quad and in the next couple of weeks. Um, this is the reel I will be using in my videos. So you'll be able, so this will be getting a lot more action coming up, but that guys i mean hope you all enjoy these they're a little bit longer have more talking to it not just a straight on box hey this is what i got and then you know this at least gives you an insight of the things that i personally own i say if y'all want to catch any more episodes be subscribed to the channel content is coming soon i promise but other than that guys i'll catch y'all later peace